Hi, I'm Matthew Lapp, host of Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Also today in this segment, I'm at the Benson Historical Museum in Benson, Arizona. The Benson Historical Museum is located on 180 South San Pedro Street in Benson, Arizona and is open if you check the web for the hours. The Society began in 1975 as the San Pedro Valley Arts and Historical Society. The museum mainly focuses on the history of the town of Benson, Arizona and its surrounding areas past to its present, such as the remains of an old Merkin tile and equipment from the Apache Powder Company. The museum is evolving to tell the stories of the people who settled the early area in its town, who were the diverse ethnicities and came from Mexico, China, and Germany. The museum features exhibits such as old-fashioned telephones, a stagecoach used for the Benson Union High School. Also, it even features a steam locomotive used at the powder company as well. What you see right behind me is a Apache Powder Company 1. Apache Powder Company 1 was built by Henry Kirk Porter in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in 1923 and is the 6827th steam locomotive built by that factory and is an 040F four-wheeler type steam locomotive. This locomotive was used on 36-inch gauge tracks and was built as a fireless steam locomotive. Also, it was used to switch cars around at the Apache Powder Company in Benson, Arizona for a number of years. This locomotive was built as a fireless steam locomotive and fireless steam engines were used in areas that have flammable substances such as textile mills, chemical plants, and coal burning plants, and they operated without the need of a fire to heat the boiler water to make steam and they used heavily insulated boilers to store pressurized steam and hot water. Then it was soon retired and was donated to the Benson Historical Museum in Benson, Arizona where it is seen today. And also you can even visit the cab and even ring the locomotive's bell. And that's how it's done. Okay, you can see right here is a mine cart and it appears the wheels have disappeared a long time ago from this cart. This cart may have been used around this area years ago when the mining industry happened around here. And now it ended up here in the museum in Benson. Okay, you can see right here is a switch stand on this side of the locomotive. And of course, it was used to redirect direct trains to whatever tracks they would go on. And also, it appears it's, it may have been used by the Southern Pacific or probably somewhere in this area or whatever area it was used in. Later, it ended up here at the Benson Historical Museum in Benson, Arizona. Let's look at the other one, shall we? Okay, here's another switch stand that also may have been used by Southern Pacific years ago. Of course, you can see how I was moving it. That's the way you could switch points to direct a train on whichever track it could go. And these slots lock this thing in place to keep the switches from moving. And here this switch stand is at the museum today. Well, I hope you all enjoyed learning about trains with me today in Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Also, I hope to see you all again in the next segment. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel just yet, the subscribe button is just down below the video screen. And if you didn't give it a like on Facebook yet, here's where you can find it. And didn't follow it on Instagram yet, Here's where you can find it. And also, be sure to get your merch at teesprings.com. Link to all the sites are down below in the description box below. And remember to subscribe to the train guy. So this is Matthew Lapp.
host of Matthew Lap Train Guy segment show signing now. Until next time, all aboard.